You know, we got some kids that uh, a few more pieces of the puzzle for the Senators here. And, you know, I know Coach has talked about it before. Our schedule here, you know, for our 1A basketball team is pretty brutal early. Yeah, we, we play a, a tough, <coughs> tough schedule early. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of 2, 3A schools. And then we scale it back into yes. more of the 1A schedule. Um, you know, Paoli being a PLAC you know, conference opponent, it's it's a tough one to start off with in that PLAC schedule. Um, you know, and, and you talked about our, our uh, boys – Fletcher Cole, I mean, what, what more do you need to say? He was a, 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 I believe it was a top 50 candidate after his freshman year. He's a, you know, a shooter, grew up in the gym, has has been in the gym since he was little. Of course, his his dad is the head coach, Dusty Cole. Right. Um, you know, and he's he's got a running mate to go with him in um, Trey Rominger. I mean, he gets up and down the floor. Those two, you know, can can play, and, and there's no doubt. You know, those are, that's going to be one of the best duos we see for a while. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, the Romans, your kid, I think it's probably about as pure athletic kid as you'll find. Uh, you know, we've seen him in, in football. Uh, Cole, another one, you know, like you said, he's grew up around it, so he knows the game. I also really like the Cornette McBride, McBride kid. Yep. Uh, you know, he gives them some height, too, at 6'5". Uh, so, you know, they – They've got some pieces of their puzzle, and, you know, I, I know they, they've kind of marked this year to be a, a big year for them as well, basketball-wise. Um, so, you know, it's going to be a tough outing here tonight for the Senators, but it I think there again, it's a good early season game for us to play, uh, you know, because that kind of tells you where you're at. It kind of gives you an indication on what you need to work on. And I think I wasn't at the Eastern game, but I, you know, listened to part of it with, with you guys. And, uh, you know, I think we found out some things there, too, that we need to work on. Yeah. So, you know, Eastern, a solid basketball team, and, and, and they've done a really good job shutting down Kenton Chase. We hadn't talked a whole lot about Kenton yet. But, you know, Kenton is kind of the, the, the go-to guy for us as far as getting things rolling in our offense. Also a, a very good lockdown defender. Right. So, you know, we kind of go as Kenton goes. That, and, that's exactly what I was going to yep. say. You know, I was talking to Paoli's radio before, and I, I told him, I said, as Kenton goes, we go. If Kenton, you know, has a, has a good game, we're going to be able to play with a lot of teams. When when Kenton doesn't, that's when we're going to struggle because he's the one who gets the offense going for everybody else. Um, you know, we haven't had Lane on the floor. Right. But uh, uh, Kenton driving into the lane gets Lane open oh, outside absolutely. of the lane. Lane can get open, you know, in the lane. He can, he's can he got moves and can get to the rim and get, you know, get up there and finish. But when Kenton drives into the lane, that gives everybody else opportunities to score because the defense is collapsing on two Kenton, and it's a, a kick to Jackson who can knock down a three. It's a, a kick to, to Ian who can hit that mid-range jump. Right. Run, you know, and, and Kenton does a great job of that. And, you know, if you if you sag off of Kenton enough, he'll get to the rim and finish on his own. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, he, you know, he, he's, like we said, I mean, he's pretty much going to control the floor for us. So we need him in the game. He's going to get a lot of pressure. You know, they're going to try to pressure him. I think Eastern done a really good yeah. job of that with the Temple kid, uh, done a really good job on Kenton that night. And that kind of slowed us down offensively. Uh, you know, therefore, uh, you know, that that was part of our scoring was gone. That and the fact that, you know, Lane hasn't been 100% and, you know, uh, is not really into the basketball shape yet. But, you know, I really feel like, uh, you know, this is, a like we said, a great test for us here early on. We're going to have to play defense, it, you know, and some of our other guys are going to have to step up. We talked about that last right. year, you know, and we've seen a little more of that. I think Ian coming back really helps us. Jackson, uh, if he gets hot, you know, and, and, and they kind of tend to sag off Jackson yeah. a little bit. Well, that, and that's that's how the, they forget about they it. They forget about yeah. it when you've got a Kenton and a Lane. You know, yep. Jackson's the – Third most, team, most, yeah. most teams are going to see him as the third option, right? You know, and and Jackson is a, a pure shooter from from deep, um, you know, and he can knock him down when he's when he's open. He's not one who's going to, you know, go off the dribble and be able to create his own shot a whole lot. Um, but for the most part, he's he's a, a, a kick and kick and drain kid. So you absolutely, know, you, you kick it to him and he's going to drain it if he's open. So. Well, and I think you know the big improvement that I've seen with with this Senator basketball team from last year has been on the defensive end. Yeah, I think they've all gotten a lot better defensively. 
There again, I mentioned Mason Cox early. I think Mason's a very good defender. Oh, no doubt. If he can stay out of foul trouble, that really helps us. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, you know, he's probably going to guard, uh, you know, either Cole or Rominger, I would assume. Uh, you know, they may put Kenton on Cole. But but anyway, we'll, we'll see how that's going to shake out here in about two or three minutes. Great crowd here tonight. Oh, yeah, they're, uh, they're, this is a, a – the best crowd I've seen at a home game here in a Seems like a it's kind of thinned so. out now, but they well, had that cheer they clinic. They had the cheer clinic. And and Santa Claus was here. Yes. Yeah, I think Santa's still in the building somewhere. He's so, probably still you here. Know, if, you're, if you're in the building listening <laughs> on WWSR, you better be on your best behavior. <laughs> yeah. or you'll end up on the naughty list. There you go. But, yeah, it was a great crowd coming in. I like to never find a place to park. Well, Paoli travels well. Yeah. They, they've they got, love their basketball. You know, they've got a, at least a third, maybe, maybe even a – up to you know a half of the gym full of, of uh, ramblers over there. So Senator Nation comes out strong. You know it'll be a, a great game and a great test for yeah. both of these teams. I know um, you know Paoli's looking for a test, and hopefully the Senators you know can can give them the test that they're looking for and and come out on the winning side of this. Well, the other great thing about the crowd being in here tonight is the fact that next weekend, you know you're going to have four teams jammed in here. The county tournament going on with Eastern, West Washington, Salem, and Borden. So, you know, all all of those schools travel pretty well, and that's always a great tournament. To, oh, yeah. You know, heading into Christmas break, but you know, so the the gym will be packed, and it's great to play in front of this kind of crowd before that hits. And I think a lot of years you don't have that as much, right? But this year, you know, with this crowd here tonight, Paoli's got big hopes for this season. The Senators as well, so. You know, it should be a good contest here as we're winding down the pregame clock. We're going to probably pause here, hear our national anthem, then we'll come back with our starting lineups and we'll find out how this one's going to get uh, underway here whenever uh, we come back from break after our national anthem coming up next here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave <laughs> All right, back here live at West Washington High School as we're here on the Ron Smith court as we're about ready to get our starting lineups here for both teams as we welcome you back to the broadcast. Appreciate you tuning in tonight. Uh, appreciate our sponsors here on the broadcast as we'll get to them here as we move forward. The first uh, starter for the Paley Rams interest, or introduced here, number 12, Brandon Cook, a senior. Uh, he's 5'10". At the other guard, Fletcher Cole, the sophomore guard for the Rams. Number 10 will also get to start at a guard, Wilton, Wilson Windhorse. Number uh, 20, Trey Rominger, or I'm sorry, Isaac Cornett McBride. And number 24, Trey Rominger will round out the lining starting lineup. I'm struggling with that here tonight. <laughs> for the Paoli Rams. And now your starters for 
the West Washington Senators as we get them introduced here. For West Washington here this evening as Coach Sullivan puts his team out there on the court. Number three, Jackson Cameron. Jackson, uh, of course, uh, the shooting guard that we talked about as he'll start at one guard. Lane Hofler getting the start here for the Senators tonight. Number 20, he's a 6'5 senior as well. Number 22, Kenton Chase, he's a 5'10 junior for the Senators here this evening. At another guard, number one, Mason Cox. He's six foot and a senior for the Senators. And at forward, number 12, Ian Rosenbaum, 6'4 and a junior for Coach Clayton Sullivan's West Washington Senators here tonight. So ready to get this one underway as we get things going here at uh, West Washington for tonight's contest. Crowd starting to get yeah, pumped up here pumped a little up, bit. Getting ready. Got everybody in the crowd dancing. All the kids over there just having a great time. We'll get things going here. It looks like uh, Lane Hoffler will jump it up here against uh, Cornette McBride for the Rams. The tip goes in the air. It's controlled by McBride as he tips it in the backcourt to Rominger. Rominger will bring it across the timeline. Now set things up. Senators come out in a little 2-3 zone here to start the game. Rominger. Off here on the side, it comes to Windhorse. Back to Rominger, far side. He'll go over in the corner. Cole with a three-pointer off the mark and a foul gonna be called as they get uh, McBride, I believe, for the push as he shoved Lane Huffler out of the way. I like that opening uh, defensive. Yes, good stand there for the Senators. Especially in the zone. Absolutely. So the Senators will take over. They'll bring it up. Kent and Chase will bring it across the timeline for West Washington. Off on the far side to Cameron. Jackson with it now, off to Lane Hofler. Hofler gets it to Rosenbaum, now in the paint. Now back out to Chase, over to Cameron. Cameron stands out high with it, now finds Ian, cutting the lane there at the free throw line, back to Cameron. Now off to Kenton, Chase on the far side, looking. Gets it back out high to Cameron, now to Rosenbaum here on the near wing. Rosenbaum inside, it goes to Hofler. He'll pull up, shoot it in the middle lane, in and out, no good. Rebound tipped away, and Mason Cox comes out there with it. Back to Hofler, back over to Cameron, now in the corner to Kenton. Kenton Chase, back out to Jackson. Cameron controls it, now off to Lane. Lane, top of the circle here on the near wing, off to Rosenbaum, top of the key, off to Cameron. Now over in the corner, it goes to Chase. He'll wheel around, hits Cox. Mason drops it and then picks it up, takes it in the lane. Kind of tied up there by McBride, he'll get it off. They get it far side to Rominger, he'll drive the lane and he's gonna get fouled as Jackson Cameron's going to be guilty of that first personal. So no Sen score up and down here pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, Senators on the offensive side down here ran through their offense three or four times before they had to get a shot up. So, I mean, that's that's a good good news for the Senators, able to run through their offense. That's always a, a plus. Yeah, and Mason Cox with a good hustle play to get that rebound, but uh, they couldn't get any points out of it. They'll get it in. Cole will throw it in. It'll come in to Cook. Now into Rominger, tipped away from him by Cox. Now they'll go down low, shot up, no good. Hoffler with the rebound. That shot was in the air by Windhorse, and Lane went up high for it, off to Rosenbaum. Now back to Kenton, top of the circle, off to Lane. He'll pull it down, shoot a deep three, no good. Ball tipped away and finally pulled out of there by McBride as he'll get it off and running up to Cole, now to Rominger. Rominger in the middle to Cook. He'll pull up, eight-footer, air ball. Ball tipped in, but he stepped on the out-of-bounds line, so that's a turnover by the Rams, and it'll go back to West Washington. 6.06 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Both teams looking for their first bucket. You can tell the Rams want to play at a fast oh, yeah, pace. They want to get, get up, up and down. And, down. and that, you know, we need to slow the game down because yeah. we don't want to do that. No, we don't want to play games in the 60s. Kenton up to Lane. Lane now inside to Ian. He tips it back out to Kenton. Kenton will drive the lane now. Nice move. Pulls up, shoots it. Can't get it to go. Another rebound pulled down in there by Fletcher Cole. He'll get it up to Rominger. He pulls up. 12-footer. Got it. First bucket of the game. Yep. So Rominger scores first. And it's two to nothing Rams here. Senators back up the other way with it. Hoffler with it out high for West Washington. Gets it off to Mason Cox. Cox with it. Looking for the cutter. Nothing there. Gets it back to Hoffler. He'll pull it down now. And dribbles back out high, gets it off to Cameron. Now over here to Mason Cox, now back out high to Lane. He pulls it down, looks, nothing there, ball tipped away from him. 
And he'll pick it up. And they're going to say back and over against West Washington. Now, I thought Paoli tipped it. Yeah, I thought Paoli got a hand on it. He smacked it out of his hand, but nevertheless, turnover West Washington. Two to nothing Paoli here, 5-12 to go in the first quarter. They'll inbound right here at the scorer's table. As they get it in, it'll come into Rominger. He'll pull it down. Now brings it across the timeline. 2-3 zone here by the Senators. Over in the corner, they'll throw it deep. Shot up, three ball, and that's good. It's number 10, Windhorse. Hits his first bucket of the night, and it's five to nothing. Now quickly, a big whistle. It's going to be another foul on the Rams here. Their second team foul. We'll see who they call it on. Nice move there by Jackson Cameron to get around the corner there and able to hit that floater. It doesn't count, but right. still good to see it go through the net. Oh, absolutely. Cole called for that personal, so his uh, first, the team's second. Ball will come in to Cameron. Now back to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it. Rams five. Senators nothing here. Jackson wheels around. And another foul going to be called as they tried to uh, slow lane down in the lane. Yeah, Windhorse <laughs> slow is going to down. Up. Yeah, and he's going to get called for the foul number 10, Windhorse. So the team's third, and they'll bring in number 50 will come into the game. Uh, Kumpf, as he'll come in for the Rams. Lane will inbound to Ian, back to Lane right away. He'll take a baseline, spins, throws up a runner, can't get it. Ball tipped around, and Cole with another rebound for the Rams. Gets it up quickly to Rominger. He'll drive in the lane, pulls up, finds a man down low. He'll go up with it, missed the shot, and Lane Hoffler with another rebound as that shot once again by McBride. Ball down to Cameron. He finds uh, Mason Cox, Cox for the first in. bucket for the center by McBride. Nice assist Ball there by Cameron. Jackson. He finds uh, Mason Cox, and he finds the two. Paoli, Rominger now in the far wing, back out to Cole. Cole with it, pulls it down, gets it off to Rominger in the corner. It'll go uh, as they get it to Windhorst. Back out to Rominger, now to Cole, back to Rominger. Far side, Windhorst with it. He'll kick it out to uh, Rominger. Now off to McBride, back to uh, number 10. That's uh, Windhorst again, his second three-pointer of the night, and it's uh, eight to two here. And another foul going to be called against the Rams. That'll be their fourth team foul. And the Rams are, are super deep on their bench. Yes, so they, they can go They can go seven, eight, nine deep on their bench. So That's that, a, it allows them to play that style right. of defense. That's going to be against Cornette McBride, his uh, first, the team's fourth, as we mentioned. Lane the inbound, he'll get it in. Titan Williams checked into the game. Cameron with a deep ball, no good. Rebound Cox. Mason gets another one, now hits Cameron in the lane. He can't get the runner to go. And the rebound pulled down and out of there by Windhorse. He'll get it off to Cole, back to Windhorse. He's hot, shoots another deep three. That one no good, and rims out and tighten with the rebound. Ball off to Cameron. Jackson far wing, now gets it down low to Titan. Baseline back to Cameron, out the lane. Now off to Kenton Chase, now to Mason Cox. Cox with it, back out high to lane. Hoffler with it. 3.18 to go here in the first quarter, and it's 8-2. to two. Hoffler back over to Kenton Chase here. He picks up his dribble, now finds Titan Williams with it. Off to Hoffler. Lane back out to Kenton. Kenton now to Cox. Mason will drive. Hits Titan baseline. He takes a nice move. Now goes in the corner to Cameron. Out to Lane. Three ball in the air, and he got it. It's nice to see Lane knock one in. Yeah, he needed to get a little confidence going here. And the Senators pull within three, eight to five, 247 to go in the first quarter. Rominger with it, gets it far side to Cole. Cole back out high to Rominger. He'll pull it down now, tries to set the offense. Two, three zone once again by the Senators. Getting chase at the top here. Rominger pulls it down, win horse, now in the corner to Cole. He goes baseline, gets cut off, now drives. Can't get the shot, got his own rebound back up, no good. Ball tipped around, Mason Cox pulls it out of there. Cox gets cut off, now gets it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it over to Hoffler. Lane will drive, goes all the way to the rim, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down and out of there by Rominger. He'll bring it up quickly for the Rams, pulls it down, now kicks it out. Cole will shoot a deep three ball off the back of the rim, hit the top of the backboard, and that one's going to be back to the Senators here. Ian Rosenbaum will check back in for... The Senators here as he'll come in. all kinds of stuff going on. Mason, oh, man, yeah. Mason Cox is limping over towards the bench. Kenton's got a shoe to tie. So Coach Sullivan decides, hey, I'm just going to take a timeout. Yeah, take a timeout. So what? we'll take a timeout here. 2.04 to go. 8-5 to five Paoli. We'll be back here 
on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. He'll get it, he'll inbound, and they'll bring it up the floor as he'll bring it across the timeline. Gets it off Jackson Cameron, off to Hoffler now. Lane will wheel around, hands it to Kenton. Kenton looks to drive, now back out to Lane. Lane will drive baseline, now back out to Kenton, off to uh, over to Rosenbaum. He'll shoot the three off the rim, no good. Man, we just, we're hitting the rim, but yeah, we can't get him to can't fall. Knock one through. Another rebound there, pulled down by Windhorst. He'll hand it off to Cole. Cole will bring it up, now gets it out high to Rominger. Far side, it'll go to Cook. Cook with it, now back over here to Rominger. Now inside to Cook, he'll dish it out, back out to Rominger. Rominger looks to drive, now kicks it out to McBride. Now back over to Rominger, now to Cole on the far wing as he'll pull it down here with about a minute to go in the first quarter. Paoli eight, West Washington five. Cole back out to Rominger. Good defense here yeah. by the Senators in this zone. Rominger wheels around, kicks it off to win horse. Now to Cole. He looks, now gets it to Cook. Cook back over to Cole. Cole now to Rominger here on the near wing in front of us. He dribbles, looks, now kicks it off to Cook. Cook back out high to McBride, far side to Cole. Now over here to win horse. He'll pull it down, looks. Now kicks it far side and Rominger with it. 30 seconds to go here in this first quarter. Rams have gotten exactly what they wanted. They oh, wanted yeah. to keep it for the last shot, and they've done Cole, so. off the wind horse, back out to Cole. Cole pulls it down, looks, nothing there. He'll now be patient, drives the lane, kicks it out. Rominger with the three ball off the front of the rim, no good. And Jackson Cameron got fouled on the rebound, but no calls. He pulls it down and out of there. He'll get it off to Kenton Chase here with 14 seconds to go in this first quarter. Kenton will bring it across the timeline with 10. He'll look now, dribbles far side. Pulls it down, clock down to five, three, two. He'll have to hurry here. Now he drives, pulls up in the lane, got a shot, but no good. And that's the end of the first quarter here from West Washington as the Senators trail the Rams here, eight to five. We'll take a break and be back here on your home for West Washington sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. Is your ride not as reliable as it used to be? Eddie Gilstraps is the place to go. With 80 years in the auto industry, we know how to get things done. At Eddie Gilstrap Motors, we have an unbeaten level of commitment to buyers. Unmatched customer service, a wide array of new and used inventory, and various financing options are just a few of the ways in which we serve our customers. Give us a call at 877-227-9421. That's 877-227-9421. 9421 or just visit our website. All right, welcome back here to West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court as the Senators trail the Rams here 8 to 5, Paley with that 3-point lead. Mainly been uh, the three-point shooting of uh, Wilson uh, Windhorse. Uh, he's got 6 of their 8, the other 2 by Rominger. The Senators uh, Lane Hoffler's got a 3 and Mason Cox with a uh, two-point field goal. So just five points in the first quarter, but I really like the way we play defense. Yeah. I, I think that's good against a very athletic and a very scoring-orientated Paoli team. Well, and, uh, and, uh, and they, they've played ball. It's not it's not like, you know, they're they're young. This group of Paoli uh, Rams, you know, are, are juniors, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. So, I mean, they've, they've got some ball under their under their belt. Absolutely. Kenton Chase here to start the second quarter. Nice pass down low to Rosenbaum, and he scores as Ian gets his first bucket of the night. So they pull within one, eight to seven here. Cole with it. He'll bring it up for the Rams, crosses the timeline. He'll look as they have their, still have their starters out there on the floor. Cole with it. 
Looking now off to Windhorse. Now down low on the baseline to McBride. Back to Windhorse. Out to Cole at the free throw line. He'll pull it up, shoot it. In and out, no good. Rebound again by Lane Hoffler. And he'll get it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton up quickly with it. Now pulls it down, hands it to Lane. Lane drives and he's fouled. So another foul on Paoli as that one's going to go against uh, Windhorse. Who's done a great job guarding Lane. Yeah, he has. It's Lane, his second foul, though. Lane's got so many moves, he's hard to guard. They'll have to take him out as number 34 will check in for him. I don't even have a 34 no, on, on my roster. Anyway, we'll just call him number 34. I don't have him on Maybe there. Maybe 32. On yeah, our list. It could be, but that's – I don't think so. I don't know. But anyway, we'll, we'll take it. Kenton will pull it down now, drives, looks, gets it out to Lane. Hoffler with it, out high, fakes the three, now pulls it down. Far side, Titan Williams, out high. It'll come to Grayson McCoy, checked in here at the second quarter. He'll get it off to Titan. Titan back to Kenton, top of the circle. Eight to seven here, 6.48 to go in the first half. He'll get it out high. It'll come to McCoy, back to Kenton. Kenton with it, now off to Titan. Titan drives into the free throw line, and now we get an offensive foul going to be called against Lane Hoffler as he gets his first personal of the night as he was trying to cut through the lane there, and they, they called him for the foul. Mason Cox will check in. I'm sure, sure Coach Sullivan's going to have a chat with the official as he comes down that, that Lane was being held the whole time. Oh, yeah, he was holding on <laughs> to him for sure. So he'll come in, check in for the Senators, Will Cox, as he'll take uh, Jackson Cameron's place here on the floor. So this uh, Rams back up with it, Cole with it. Far side, it'll go to Cook. Now back to Cole, he looks, nothing there. Now goes here, 234, as we'll call him Sullivan, because 32's listed, and I don't see a 32 down there. But anyway, back over to Rominger, he drives the lane. Oh, no. Nope. Nope. They're going to call it he off. He's going to call travel yep. before. He traveled before he <laughs> fouled. They were going to call foul yeah, Mason Cox. Yeah, they were going to call foul on Mason Cox, but the travel came first. So the third turnover for the Rams here in this first half. Eight to seven. Senators hanging around here. 6.15 to go in the first half. Kenton Chase with it. He'll bring it up for West Washington. He's picked up there by Cook. Now he'll drive far side. Now gets it down low baseline. Lane will pull up. And another foul going to be called as they're going to get Cole, I believe, again. If they, if that's on him, that's his second. I'm going to say he's on the floor. Still wondering who they're giving that to. Uh, they call it on What did he say his I name see. was? I didn't even hear. See, 34, I don't, know, yeah. I, I don't know who to call that on. But anyway, it's his first. 34, we'll just write him in the book. No name. Mason Cox with it. Out high on the inbounds, they'll get it off to Kenton. He'll drive, now out high to Hoffler. Lane with it. Now off to Kenton, over to Grayson McCoy. McCoy with it, far wing, out to Cox. Now back to Kenton. Kenton looking, Rosenbaum. Now they go down, they find Lane. He'll spin, throws up a runner, can't get it to go. And the rebound pulled down by Cornette McBride. He gets it up quickly. 34 on the drive, now dishes it out to Cole. Far side, McBride will shoot a three ball, and he got it. That's what happened. Senators yep. were caught in transition, scrambling, trying to cover defensively, and couldn't do it. So 11 to 7 here, and they'll get Titan Williams in the game. Somebody's got to come out. Oh, Lane's, Lane's going to come out. Okay, here we go. So Titan will check in for Lane here. Rams with a little pressure as Titan will get it in to Kenton Chase. Kenton will bring it up for the Senators as 11 to seven. Rams with a four point lead. He'll get it off to McCoy. McCoy with it now looking, goes out high to Rosenbaum, off to Kenton Chase. Kenton far side, throws it out high, ball tipped, almost stolen, and Kenton gets it back. He'll drive now, Senators with numbers. Titan Williams baseline, no good. Battle for the board and Rominger comes down and out of there with it for the Rams. He'll bring it up quickly, drives, goes in the corner to McBride. McBride back out high to Rominger. Rominger pulls it down here, and he'll reset the offense. Two-three zone here once again by the Senators. Rominger drives, goes in the lane, throws up a runner, and got it. Timeout, Coach Sullivan. Yeah, 
So he's using he, his timeouts well here. We'll stay with you on yeah. this one. 13 to seven, and he's trying to explain to McCoy that he can't let in that zone. He can't let Rem Rominger drive the lane. Right. He's got a he's got a sag got to cut him center. off. Yep. He was playing that opposite side, and as soon as they reversed it, yeah, he, he got he, he got lost. It. Rominger's smart. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's he, gonna he's gonna cut through that lane and fill easily, and you can't let him get in the lane and shoot a fifth. Uh, nope. You know, a five footer. Yeah. He just floated right down the lane. Easy shot for him. So. 13 to seven, six point lead here for the Rams here, 444 to go in this first half of play. And, you know, the game so far has kind of fell into West Washington's plan. Yeah. You know, slow it down, limit their possessions, rebound the ball well. We've done a good job of that. Had to get Lane a little rest here. So we got him on the bench, but, uh, you know, the Senators have done a good job until that miscue right there. And, and like you said, it was just McCoy, you know, you're, you're in that zone. You're trying to watch the shooters, and, well, and I think he was looking to the and wing. they've got so many shooters out oh, there. Oh, yeah. I mean, Cole was behind him, and he had to make a choice, and he chose Cole, which if you're, I guess. Pick uh, your Coach, poison. Yeah, Coach yeah. Sullivan, if you're going to have one, you're not going to let uh, no. Rominger shoot a, a five-footer right. in the lane. Make you're him gonna, shoot the three. Yeah. All right, Titan Williams then bound. He'll get it in after the timeout here. It'll come in to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it. He'll bring it up for the Senators here as he'll dribble far side. Comes around the screen, now cut off there by Cook. Gets it off to Cameron, back to Kenton. Kenton with it. Paoli also in a little match up zone here as they get it to Titan now. He'll drive, nice move nice by, move Titan, by Titan, Titan Williams as he takes it confidently in there and scores it as he took it straight to the hole. So. 13 to nine now. Cole with it, back to Rominger, out high for the Rams. He'll get it to Cook, back to Rominger, far side to Cole, inside to go to McBride, size advantage now. And the ball tipped away, but Paoli comes up with it, tipped again as Mason Cox uh, tipped it out of bounds. So it'll go back to Paoli. Another substitution here for the Rams as Kumpf will come back into the game as he'll replace Rominger. Cole to inbound for Paoli underneath their own bucket. 13 to nine, he'll get it out high. It'll come to McBride, now back to Cole. He'll wheel around, goes far side, 34 with it. Sullivan, Sullivan will wheel around now, goes far side to Cole, back to Sullivan. Oh, he about ran away from it. They get it inside to Kumpf and the ball's tipped. And it went off Titan, out of bounds to Paoli. Titan was just barely we able to touch We almost got that. it, yeah. <laughs> ball was tipped up high. 34, uh, Sullivan Dan bound. He'll get it out high to McBride. In the corner goes to Cole. He looks at a three. Now back to McBride. McBride back to Cole, far side. Cole will spin around. Drives. Now dishes it off there to Sullivan. Back to Cole. Cole with it. Pulls it down now. And he'll dribble back out and set the offense. Far side it'll go. Sullivan, long pass down inside. And McBride has to go over the top. And he's going to get called for the foul. That'll be his second, I believe. I believe you're right. That is two on him. Well, two on him, two on Windhorst. Seventh team foul, too. So that puts us in the bonus from here on out. And Hoffler will check back in with 315 to go. He'll replace Jackson Cameron, who will come out. 13 to nine, Paoli. Titan Williams then bound. He'll get it in. It'll come in to Kenton Chase. Kenton up quickly with it. Beats everybody down the floor. Now off to Titan. Titan with it. Dribbles. Free throw line. Out to Rosenbaum. Now to Kenton. Far wing. Kenton will wheel around. Looks at a shot. Nothing there. Now dishes out to Cox. Mason down the lane. Drives. Throws it up. Can't get it to go. Thought he got fouled. No call. And Paoli back the other way. Rominger gets it in the corner. It'll go to Kumpf, Kumpf kicks it out. Cole with a deep three ball, no good. Off the mark, rebound Mason Cox as he chases down the long rebound there and gets it off to Kenton Chase. Kenton up with it quickly. He'll pull up free throw line. Now this just to Rosenbaum. Ian cut off there, looking for somebody. Now goes back to Kenton. Kenton off to Rosenbaum, back to Kenton. Off to Titan Williams here. Titan drives in, free throw line, now dishes. Hoffler with the three ball, that's off the mark in the corner. Titan with the rebound, back up and he gets fouled. 
I was going to say, for Titan to miss one from underneath right yeah. there, somebody's got to get his arm. Uh, he had his <laughs> arm, yeah, no doubt. Number 12, Cook, going to be called for that. That's his second. So they got three guys with two fouls, yeah. three of their starters. And Titan will go to the free throw line. First free throws we've had tonight. First one's up and long off the back of the rim. No good by Titan. He'll get another one, though. Still 13 to 9 here. Cameron back in the game for the Senators as he replaces Mason Cox. Cox yeah. Titan's second free throw coming now. He eyes it, flies it. That one's good. He knocks that one down. 13 to 10 here with 217 to go in this first half. Cole up for the Rams as he'll pull it down, gets it off here. 52 Reynolds into the game for the first time. Now back to Cole, now far side to Sullivan, tipped out of there, back out to Cole. Cole pulls it down, backs it out now. Cameron on him, gets it off here. It'll come over here to Reynolds. Reynolds with it, looking. Now he'll dribble, gets it off Sullivan. Sullivan far side, goes to Cole. Cole spins around, pulls it down. And now gets it off to Rominger. Rominger, far side. Gets it in the corner. Sullivan back out to Rominger. Over to Cole. He looks. Zone's really giving them fits. He'll yeah. spin. Throws up a wild shot in the lane. No good. Rebound inside by Sullivan, though. Back out to Cole for a wide open three. Can't get it. Rebound, Lane Hoffa. So a nice job there. Gets it up to Williams. Titan drives. Goes baseline. And they're going to call in for the charge. Rebound, you Lane Hoffman. Make your own decision. Yeah, you can make your own decision. Nice job there. watching. I didn't <laughs> think that Williams was a charge. He didn't have those baseline. <laughs> he and, was going and they're going to call in for the charge. The Paley crowd called that one. That's what happened there. First on Titan, team's third here. Cole will bring it back up for the Rams. Off to Reynolds, far side. Reynolds looking, now out to Kumpf. Kumpf with it. Back over here to Cole on the near wing. Now he'll go back out high to Rominger. One minute to go here in this first half. Off to Reynolds. Now in the corner it'll go. Kumpf with it. Back to Reynolds. Reynolds far side to Cole. He'll drive in. Spins. Now tipped away from him. Kenton Chase will pull it down. Kenton gets it up quickly to Rosenbaum. He pulls it down. Three ball. Ooh, air ball. Can't get it. And the rebound pulled down by Kumpf inside. He'll get it off to Cole. Cole will drive, goes all the way to the hole and scores it. That's the kind of offense that Paley wants to run. They want to get a, a long rebound yep. and then. His first bucket, 15 to 10, as Cole gets a two point layup. And the Rams up five here with 25 seconds to go in this first half of play. Not much scoring, but it's been a pretty good basketball yeah. game so far. Kenton will be content just to hold it out front here as they'll dribble down and take the last shot. Now he'll go on the attack with about 12 seconds. He'll dribble far side to the wing, now to Rosenbaum, back to Kenton. He'll drive, pulls up, 15-footer, got tipped, and the ball pulled down by Cole. He'll pull it down, throws up a wild shot at the buzzer, no good, and that's going to be the end of the first half here from West Washington as the Senators do a nice job defensively. 15 to 10. I know, folks, that's a halftime score, not a quarter score. But uh, good job defensively. <laughs> and uh, that's the kind of game West Washington has to play against the Paoli team. Yeah, if, 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 if West Washington is going to stay in this game, they've got to continue to play that type of game where they don't allow those transition offense, you know, to, to get a long rebound, run the floor, and get a layup on the other end. I mean, it, it, that won't work for the Senators. Yeah, absolutely. You can't get out in a running contest with this team. So we're going to take an extended break here at the half. Enjoy it and uh, enjoy our sponsors here and uh, get a word in from them. And we'll be back here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes 
beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. At Eddie Gilstrap, our customers are family. Rated in the top 6% nationwide in Ford dealers, we pride ourselves on our no pressure environment, honesty, and integrity. Come see us today and discover why we're different. Eddie Gilstrap Motors. That'll be about right. Yeah, we'll come in back 2015, in we minutes, launched so. the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. With the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. United Producers Inc. We are the largest livestock marketing company in the world. We currently have 17 auction markets and 23 direct buying stations across Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, Tennessee, and Illinois. Our goal is to market your livestock to maximize your dollar while implementing animal safety procedures. To find your local market, visit our website at uproducers.com or contact Ryan Bat at 812-620-0769. Again, that is 812-620-0769. Farmer owned, farmer values. It's time for the Commissioner's Corner, an exclusive weekly conversation about Indiana high school sports with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. Now for an up-to-the-minute report about what's happening in the constantly changing world of high school sports, here's Coach Bob Lovell with Commissioner Paul Neidig. Welcome back, everyone, to our weekly conversation with the Commissioner of the IHSAA, Paul Neidig. And Commissioner Neidig, we're in it now. We are playing basketball. We're wrestling. We, we have wrapped up, as we know, the fall sports now into the winter sports. It's a busy, busy time. We have a lot of games. The IHSA, we're fortunate, like a lot of states, our young men and women play literally uh, with the exception of Sunday, every day of the week. And, and it is a monumental task to put on these types of events night after night after night. Big school, small school, city school, country school, doesn't matter. There's a lot going on. Well, first of all, it's it's what we do in Indiana and we've done for many, many years and providing a platform for student athletes to, to show their skills and coaches to coach and, and communities to gather. It is a really, you know, that's just what's special about what we do. But, man, I tell you, Coach, it's it, it, I often walk in, the, the first person I want to go talk and thank to as I walk in the door is that person that's sitting out there with the cold weather uh, right inside the front door. <laughs> And it's cold outside, and but they're sitting there selling tickets, and they've done it year in and year out for the athletic department so schools can operate events. And, you know, I always want to get around the place. I just want to make sure those people know they're appreciated for doing what they're, they're doing, and they're a big part of, of, of an athletic event also. Well, they really are because oftentimes the person you're talking about is, is a member of the faculty who's been at school all day long, have families themselves, 
and uh, if some meager five dollar whatever an hour, they make a little bit of money. But they they're doing this because they're aware that without the infrastructure of, of people like them, you can't have these events. You, know, you need you need the teams. You need the coaches, you need the officials, but you need the ticket takers. Uh, you need the people popping the popcorn, selling the consent. You need all those people to make this experience what it is and to generate that much necessary and much needed uh, revenue for your programs. That's exactly, absolutely right, Coach. You know, and, you know, revenue, and it's not, anybody, they're not out there trying to make you know, no. uh, a lot of money. They're trying just to keep the lights on, the officials paid, the bus, you know, gas in the buses and uniforms on the kids. And and so, you know, it, 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 these people all choose, and I always like to say they choose to, they choose to work in the eye of the public. They choose to interact with the public as they walk in so a parent can, can walk in and, and watch their child mm-hmm. play. And, I, you know, I just think sometimes – Anybody that's in public service, whether it be a coach, a teacher, or a police officer, or, or anybody, we forget to really recognize what they do and the give back that they do for the communities. Um, because they're just the salt of their people who truly care about right. the kids that right. they see in the classroom every day, or whether it be in the hallway, the lunchroom, uh, or getting on and off the bus. And, 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 you know, I just think we all need to step back and, and thank those people for spending their time so children and student athletes get to play in a in a in a time modern tradition which is a high school education based athletic program. Paul Nightig with us from the IHSAA talking about all things IHSAA related. You and I are both former athletic directors. Uh, we would not have been able to have any kind of success or be able to do our jobs without the secretaries. And I dare say those dear athletic secretaries all over our state uh, are the unsung heroes of athletics in our in our entire state. No question. No question. I was always blessed with great partners and in the work that I've done and athletic secretaries or assistants come in many titles. But, you know, uh, I can think back to, to Alicia when I was in Evansville and and there were, sometimes there'd be kids that's having a rough day and, and and that athletic secretary is consoling a kid mm-hmm. with a hug and a, it'll be all right. And that's certainly not in the job descriptions, but that's what they choose to do to help kids along the way. And they're there to care about kids um, and student athletes absence of a parent. Thanks for listening to the commissioner's corner with IHSAA commissioner, Paul Neidig and coach Bob Lovell. And thank you for your continued support of the high schools in your community. Okay, welcome back here live to West Washington High School here on the Ron Smith Court. And the Senators down here 15 to 10 to the Paoli Rams in a kind of a low scoring affair, but a good defensive uh, game so far by the Senators. Run down the scoring real quick for Paoli. They're led by Wilton Windhorse, who had two three pointers in that first quarter. He leads them with six. Uh, several other scoring. Rominger has four points on two field goals. Cornette McBride with a three. Uh, Cole with just two points, and that gives them their 15. For West Washington, their 10 points. They were led in scoring by a couple different players. Lane Hoffler only had the one three-pointer for three. Titan Williams had a uh, field goal and a free throw for three. And then Mason Cox and uh, Ian Rosenbaum both with a two-pointer to give the Senators their 10 points here in the first half. So that didn't take long, but we had had a lot of stuff going on here at the half. They uh, had to split the pot, the chuck the duck uh, going on. So a lot of things happening here at the half, but back here to start this third quarter of play as both teams return to the court. Senators have come back out with their starters, Kenton Chase, Jackson Cameron, Mason Cox, Ian Rosenbaum and Lane Hofler as Paoli as well with uh, Cornette McBride, Cole, uh, also Windhorse, and uh, Cook and Rominger will start. So the original starters all back in the game to start here for both teams. So Paoli get the ball to start, Cole with it, 
He'll bring it down, gets it off to McBride, back to Cole, far side to Windhorse. He looks inside, throws it down low, tried to lob it, tipped away to Cole, Cook. He goes up with it, tipped back outside again, almost taken away by the, the Senators, and they get an easy bucket as Cook able to score, and oh no, Lane went down kind of funny. Let's hope he's all right here. I think he went knee to knee with somebody. So not good. We we don't need to lose Lane. He's no. coming off that knee injury. And uh, Ian Bostock, the trainer for uh, Paoli, comes out and grabs a hold of Lane, brings him over to the West Washington bench. So hopefully, uh, I don't know if that's the same knee or not. I don't think it is. I think that's the one that he didn't have surgery on. Yeah. But uh, like you said, uh, that hurts when you bang knees like that. So <laughs> definitely, Cook uh, gets the easy bucket here to start the third quarter, 17 to 10. Biggest lead of the night by either team here as Paoli pulls out to a seven point advantage. Senators back the other way. Kenton chase with it. He'll dribble. Now drives the lane. Takes it all the way to the hole. Got a runner to go. So Kenton with his first bucket of the night. We need him to do yeah, that that's more the kind often. Of offense that we need from Kenton. Yep. 17 to 12. He'll get it out. Rams with it to Cole. Now to Cook. Far side back to Cole. Now in the corner to McBride. Back out to Cole. He'll bring it back out high. Dribble is it out there. Looks far side. Gets it off the wind horse. Wind horse to wheel around, pulls it down. Now to Cole. Cole with it. Senator still in that 2 3 zone. Cole dribbles here near side. Now throws it far side to Rominger. Rominger back over to Cole. He'll pull it down, shoot the three ball. That one was good. When it left his hand, I could tell that yep. one was going in. So only his uh, fifth point of the night. And they pull out to a 20 to 12 lead. Eight point advantage for the Rams here. Kenton with it, far side to Cameron. Now off to Mason Cox, out high to Titan Williams. Titan back to Kenton, over to Jackson. Jackson pulls it down, goes into Rosenbaum. He'll spin, drew a crowd, and got fouled. I think I, you could pick any one uh, of the five that are on the floor. Yeah. All of them, I think, got a piece of it. They were all around him. Number 20 going to be called for the personal. That's McBride. That's his third. So he may have to come to the bench. We'll see what... Uh, Coach Dusty Cole does. Rosenbaum at the free throw line. First one's up and it's up good. As he knocks it down. 20 to 13. Ian with another one here to cut this down to a six point advantage. As he'll go to the free throw line. Second one's in the air. Rims around and goes in. That's a nice roll here. He got on the our, nice on, uh, on, uh, Ross generous Ford. roll. <laughs> 20 to 14. I wanted to put Art Sanders Field out there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I want to say that all the time. They try to do it. And Mason Cox gets a steal. He'll bring it down quickly. Now pulls it out to Kenton. Kenton off to Rosenbaum. Now to Jackson in the corner. Cameron with the three. No good. And the rebound pulled down by Cook for the Rams. He'll get it out to Rominger. He tries to run another steal by Cox. Cox back the other way with it. He'll drive. Goes in the lane. Throws it up. And a blocking foul going to be called on Cook as he tried to get underneath of him. And Cook will pick up, I believe, his first foul. No, that's his third two. Yeah. So they got two starters with three fouls. Uh, Mason is a very hard one to take a charge on because he's able to turn yeah. in the air and, and get out of the way. Two shots for Cox here. First one in the air and it's good. He pulls it back down to just a five point lead. Chance to cut it down to four here as he'll go back to the free throw line. Lane back in the game, that's good. Yeah. Jackson Cameron will come to the bench, but uh, good to see Lane back out there. Cox's second free throw coming now. It's in the air and rims out, no good. So it'll remain 20 to 15, Cole up quickly with it. He'll get it out there to 22 Spires. Now far side to Rominger as Spires checks in his first action. Now back out to Cole, another deep three in and out. Rominger with the rebound and Lane has to foul him. As Lane, he goes up. Lane does a good job of going up there, but Rominger with the body gets into him, and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, it's Lane's second foul, so the team's first here in the second half, and Rominger will go to the line for a couple free throws here. His first one's up and off the front of the rim, no good. He'll get another one. Jackson back in for Mason, who's still limping a little bit. Uh, he's got something going on with his ankle there, I believe. Rominger at the line, second free throw coming now. 
It's in the air, and he gets that one to go. 21-2-15 now, back to a six-point lead here. Kenton Chase brings it up, gets it off to Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum out to Cameron, now to Hoffler. Lane with it, out high, looks. Now goes on the attack. He'll take it in the lane, drives, and he gets fouled as he goes to the deck again. And Lane's been all over yeah, the Lane's, floor. Lane's spent a lot of time on the, on the parquet here. That's on Windhorse. So they got three starters with three fouls now. And that's what, what I was saying earlier. You know, they go deep into their bench, so they're, they can play that way. It, yeah, they can. They can afford to foul a little bit. Hoffler, whereas we're just the opposite. We yeah. can't, and we haven't. So Lane with a couple of free throws. First one's good. 21-16. He'll get another one here. It's up, and it rims out. Sure it does, because I marked it good before he <laughs> shot it. So 21-16. Cole with a deep three ball again, and, man, you just can't leave him open as he starts to heat up his second three-pointer here this quarter. And it's 24 to 16. Hoffler with it. Now back out to Cameron off to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it. Titan now back to Lane. He'll shoot the three off the mark. No good. Rebound McBride as he pulls it down. Cole gets it up quickly to Windhorse. He goes back to Cole. Now over to McBride. Far side it goes to Spires. Cole with another deep three. That one misses off the front of the rim. Rebound by Rosenbaum as Ian goes up high for it. 24 to 16. Kenton Chase to bring it up for the Senators. That was a heat check. He was on the M of Ron oh, yeah. Smith Court. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he chucked it up. He's feeling it right now. He's oh, yeah. got two three-pointers here in this quarter. Kenton with it. Out high for the Senators. Looking, trying to find the Hoffler. He gets it off to him. Lane will drive. Goes in the lane. Spins. Puts it up. Got his own rebound. And a foul on the floor again. So I think that's going to go against the uh, Rams once again here. We'll see who that one's on. It's on number 24, Rominger. First on him. Team's fourth already, and McBride will come out of the game as Kumpf comes back in. So that gives us a little bit more of a, you know, equalization in size. Right back to Ian as it goes back, and Cameron will shoot the three off the mark. No good, tipped away as they pull it down and then block. Titan gets it back. He goes in strong, and he gets fouled as he goes to the rim. Lane got hammered, too, and no yeah. call. That's Windhorse. That's his fourth. So the team's fifth already here. Titan goes to the line as he's been up there uh, once tonight. Had a couple free throws. Hit them both. First one's up. Oh, man, it bangs around and falls out. I jinxed him. Cook will come in for Windhorse with those four fouls. And Titan at the free throw line for his second free throw here. Second one. In the air, and it's down. So 24 to 17. Timeout here called by the Senators. Take a 30 second timeout. Yeah. They do a, a great job there after the make. You know, time to, hey, let's check out this defense because the last couple of times down, um, Fletcher Cole has been able to get off yes. threes and they've been able to get into the lane. And, you know, if if, if Fletcher can step into a three, that's going to go down yeah. more times than not. Well, and he's built this lead for him. He's got two three-pointers in this quarter. Um, leads all scores in the game right now with eight points. But uh, 24 to 17. And I think the other good thing about the timeout is Coach Sullivan don't want to don't want it to get any further out yeah. than a couple possessions. You know, it's a three-possession game now. Uh, but, um, you know, you want to slow it down a little bit, set your defense, and uh, hopefully get a stop here. You know, a so, couple of stops and a couple of made buckets. This is, this yeah. is a two- or three-point game. Oh, yeah, it'll be close. So the Rams the inbound. Kumpf will throw it in for them as he'll get it into Rominger. 4-16 to go in the third quarter. Paoli 24 West Washington 17. Rominger with it, out high. He'll dribble out near the half court line. Now goes on the attack in the lane, spins, gets cut off, kicks it out. Three ball by Spires, in and out, no good. Lane with the rebound. He gets fouled though by Kumpf. Oh, a jump ball, how do you call that? <laughs> It'll go to West Washington. 
Oh, my gosh. Lane was hammered in there. Kump had a hold of his arm. And he's from behind. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't in front of him. Lane had possession, no doubt. So, we'll get the ball back, though, on the uh, jump ball call. So, Kenton will bring it up, crosses the timeline with it. Looks here near side. Goes around the screen there, gets cut off. Well, we had Rosenbaum wide open. Ian will pull it down and score it. Nice bucket there by Ian. So Ian makes it uh, 24 to 19, back to a five-point lead. So that's what we need, good defense here. Romans are with it. Paley with a little foul trouble, so there are some of their starters on the bench. Cole will uh, spin down inside, just about lost a hand on it, now kicks it out to Kumpf. Kumpf off to Spires. Spires pulls it down, wheels around. Now back out, Spires off to Kump. Kump pulls it down, off to Rominger. 3.07 to go in here in the third quarter. Rominger with it. Gets it in the corner to Spires. He'll bring it back out high. Now kicks it back out to Rominger. He'll drive the lane, and he's going to be fouled on the floor. I believe Titan Williams is going to be guilty of that one. That's a, a mismatch for Titan there. He, he doesn't have the quick enough feet to keep up with Rominger, who comes down the lane at him. Only the team's second second foul as well on Titan as Cox will come back in. So Mason uh, moves back into the game. They'll inbound to come. He'll wheel around, goes in the lane, drives. He traveled, no call. And then the last second they bail him out. They get a foul on Hoffler, and that's Lane's third. This guy, I mean, he traveled three times before he ever got to the lane. Third on lane, so team's third. And Kumpf will go to the free throw line for a couple shots here. First one's up, hard off the back of the rim, no good. He'll get another one. Second free throw coming now for Kumpf. It's up and hard again off the rim, but Rominger gets a rebound. Out to Cole, he'll drive, pulls up, free throw line, shot, no good. Another rebound by Spires. He'll pull it down, gets it out to Cole. He drives in the lane, spins, throws it up. And a push is going to be called. Cole hit the shot. He says it's good. So Cole with the two-pointer. Cameron called for the foul, his second. Team's fourth here. Number 32 will check in for them. That's Sullivan. Yeah, so I'm not sure who the 34 is, but Sullivan will check into the game for the Rams. And Cole with a chance to complete this three-point play here. And he misses the free throw. So 26 to 19 here with 229. Kenton Chase. Little half court trap here by the Rams. They get it off to Cameron. Got lucky there. Gets it back out to Kenton. Kenton off to Jackson. Jackson inside the lane. He draws a crowd. Tipped away. Kenton, however, pulls it down. He'll get it off to Jackson. Back out to Kenton. They got Ian over there on the far side. Cameron with it. Now he throws it over to Hoffman. Lane will pull it down. Now back to Cameron. He'll shoot the three. That one looked good, but no good. But Lane. Tries to tip it in, can't get it to go. Rams up quickly with it. They get it to Cole. He'll drive, pulls up, free throw line shot. No good, rebound Kent. And he gets fouled on the rebound by Rominger. So Rominger guilty of his second personal. Team sixth. Just kind of in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Yeah. He was going for the rebound, just ran into Kent. Yeah. 26 to 19, a seven point lead. Largest of the night's been eight, but we've been able to sustain and keep it under eight here. Kenton gets it up, half court trap, they'll get it off the lane. Now back to Kenton, over to Jackson. Cameron in the corner, it goes. Now to Mason Cox, now to Kenton. Back out, comes over to Ian. Inside it'll go to Cox, he'll spin, nice move, throws it up, can't get it, got his own rebound. Nope, tipped away and out of there. Cole comes out of the pack with it. He'll bring it down, gets it off the comp. He misses the... Blocked shot attempt there by Lane and Kumpf will score. So it's 28 to 19, the biggest lead of the night at nine. Kenton crosses the timeline, off to Lane. 
Back to Kenton, over to Cameron. Inside to Mason, now in the corner goes to Rosenbaum. He'll pull up, baseline shot, 14-footer, got it. Nice bucket by Ian. Yes, it was. Short Whoops. corner there. 28, or 29, no, I'm sorry, 28-21. I'm getting it right now. Seven-point lead here by the Rams with under a minute to go. Romans are with it out high. As he'll dribble around with it. Mason Cox out on him now with 30 seconds. They're just trying to get into the fourth quarter here with this foul trouble so they can get their starters back out. Cox almost steals it in a timeout called by Paoli here with 22 seconds to go in this third quarter of play. So quick 30-second one will stay here. 28-21, Paoli up by seven. And the Rams uh, trying to get to the fourth quarter as they got several guys in foul trouble. They check back in Cornette McBride. Yeah, he's got uh, three. Windhorse has got four. And Cook has three. So they're in a little bit of foul trouble here. But uh, the Senator's not really – well, Lane's got three. Yeah. But uh, he's used to playing with three or four. He seems like all year last year played the whole second half of three fouls. Yeah. Uh, he's a smart enough basketball player to know that he, you know, what he can do and what he can't. And uh, he's going to have to play the rest of the game with those three fouls and hopefully not get two more here. Paleo inbound after the timeout in front of their own bench. They lead 28 21. Comes to throw it in. He'll go in the backcourt to Rominger. Rominger will bring it across the line now, and they'll just hold here, I think, for a shot as uh, they want to try to build on this lead. Rominger gets it off, corner shot, three ball in the air, no good. Rominger with the rebound, pulls it down, gets it to McBride. He'll shoot a free throw line shot, no good, tipped away, and that'll be the end of the quarter. Good defense there by the Senators as they go into the fourth quarter, trailing here 28 to 21. And we'll take an extended break and be back here on your home for Senator Sports West Washington live stream. Link's Clothing and Shoes is proud to support West Washington Senator football and wish them a great season. Stop by and see us for all your school fan gear. We offer a wide variety of tees, hoodies, hats, and more. We also offer custom screen printing and embroidery for your team, business, or event. We are conveniently located on the north side of the Salem Square and have been serving our community for over 15 years. Our hours are Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30, and on Saturdays, they're 9 to 3. Stop in or call us at 812-883-4154. That's 812-883-4154. Shop local and save. All right, back here live to head into the fourth quarter of play. Both teams heating up a little bit offensively there. Both teams with their best quarter. Senators uh, scoring 11 points in that third period. And the Rams, oh, with 13, led by Cole with a couple three-pointers and uh, a two-point basket. So, um, you know, still in this ball game. Uh, you know, it's a three-possession game here. It's seven-point lead for the Rams. And the Senators just got to keep playing uh, good defense here as they've done a nice job throughout the game. McBride back in. He'll kick it into Rominger as uh, Rominger will bring it across the timeline to start this fourth quarter. They look, go to McBride, now off to Cole in the corner. Cole with it, looking to get one-on-one -on -one here against Kenton Chase. Now he's double-teamed by Rosenbaum, and Ian uh, comes around and uh, fouls him as Ian picks up his first personal. Team's fifth here. He had slid his feet the first two, yeah. but then reached on that third one. Yeah, he so. tried to reach around, and they were trying to double-team Cole there. You know, and you about have to. I mean, he's he's been their, uh, their bell cow, so to speak, so you gotta got to know where he's at on the floor for sure. They'll inbound. It'll come in to Cook. Now back to Cole as he'll dribble with Kenton Chase on him. Off to Cole, or off to uh, Cook. Now far side as they get it over there to 34. Now back out to uh, Cole. He'll drive in the lane, pulls up free throw line, got it. He's just a good player, man. Yeah, he, he's he, going to knock him down, he no finds problem. finds a way to get open. 
30 to 21. Three ball by Cameron off the mark. No good. Rebound Rominger as he pulls it down and out of there for the Rams. He'll bring it up quickly. Gets cut off free throw line. Goes out in the corner. 34 with it. Out to McBride. Now out to Cole. Cole with it. Chase on him. He'll drive. Goes baseline. Gets cut off. 34 with it. Gets it back out to Cole. He'll drive inside. Oh, and he takes Cameron to the deck. No call. Man, he just <laughs> he just lowered his shoulder and went right into Cameron. That should have been an offensive foul, but 32 to 21 here. Hoffler with it. Back out to Kenton. Kenton now over to Cameron. Cameron goes baseline. Rosenbaum with it. Inside the lane. He'll spin. Throws up a runner. Can't get it. Rebound tipped away and tightened on the floor. Now to Jackson. And a timeout called by Coach Sullivan smartly. Uh, yeah, you got that one called. That, he didn't want that turnover. Up. We need that possession as they pushed it out to a 32 to 21 lead here as they lead by 11 on those two quick shots by Cole as he's got four already here in this quarter and uh, has really heated up here the second half as he's been able to get 12 points in this half. Only had two the first half. Well, and the other, you know, Cornette McBride in, in foul trouble when yep. horse. You know, had a had a quick start, but I haven't really heard a whole lot from him since. No, he's been pretty quiet. So you know, they're they're two of their other scorers aren't you know going. So right. when when uh, Cole gets gets hot, that's when you you ride him. You know, it was it, early. It was Windhorse. He was he was going. I think he had like the first. He game, had the first six six of the game. Yeah. Um, you know, and then. Um, McBride took over and, and you know, was the offense was kind of rolling through him. And now the third quarter, it was all Fletcher Cole. So, well, you know, we were down seven. Now it's 11. So, you know, the thing is we, we've got to, uh, you know, because we're playing a slower pace game, it limits our possessions. So, yeah, we've got to take advantage of all our possessions. And that's why I really felt like that was a good time out there by coach as it just settled them down here a little bit. Got to get a bucket here to keep this, you want to try to keep this thing under 10, uh, but we got to knock down some shots. Rosenbaum to throw it in, he'll get it in to Kenton. Kenton will bring it across now, sets up the offense. I think we got a little mismatch with Lane that comes trying to guard him. I think Lane can beat him. Kenton beats everybody off the dribble, goes in for the layup, gets it tipped and gets it off to Titan. He'll drive and score it. Nice job by Titan to get up close to the rim to finish that one. Yeah, needed that bucket here. 23-32, a nine-point lead for the Rams. They'll get it off to Cook on the far side. He'll look, now hits McBride, now over here to Cole. Cole with it, dribbles around that uh, screen and lost it off his foot. Ball's gonna go out of bounds. It's gonna go back to the Rams, they say it went off of one of our guys' knee, and I thought it went off Cole's foot. I thought it went off Cole's foot, too. Yeah, sure looked like it. Rams with a break there, so inbound. McBride will get it into Cole. He'll get it across the timeline now, sets it up, goes it off to Rominger. Rominger over here to Cook. Cook with it. Dribbles, now gets it out to McBride. McBride off to Cole. He'll dribble baseline, pulls up, shoots it, can't get it. Rebound, however, by McBride. We got to get on the boards here. Yeah, we've got, can't, we got to limit their possessions. We've got our three biggest players out there. We've got to rebound. Right. Rominger with it. He'll drive now, goes down the lane. Oh, got blocked from, and they call a charge. Yes. So Cameron set up nice and got the charging call. Seems Roman's like the Senators finally get a, a break. Yeah, that was a break there. Ian blocked the basketball, but Cameron set up and got the charge. Now a little pressure here. A little half court to three quarter court trap here by the Rams. Hoffler will get it across. Now gets it off to Cameron. Now back out to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it, goes off the lane. Lane. Gets it back out high to Kenton. Far side, it'll go to Rosenbaum. Now they find Lane in the lane. He gets it down under the Titan. Back to Ian, and he gets blocked from behind and a foul. That's it for McBride, I think. Or no, that's his fourth. Yeah. If, if that's who they called it on. Uh, yep, that's on him. It's his fourth. And he did a good job of getting the ball. The problem is Ian went up, and McBride was going into him. So. Yeah. 
Ian will have a couple free throws here. First one's good. Knocks that one down. And he'll get another one. Windhorse will come in. He'll be playing with four. And McBride with four. Second free throw coming here for Rosenbaum. It's up and rims out. Rebound McBride. So Ian with one of two, 32-24, an eight-point advantage for the Rams. As Cole will bring it up for Paoli, he'll get it off to Cook. Cook with it, dribbles out high. Now back over to Cole. Cole out high to Rominger. Rominger back to Cook. Cook with it, Cameron on him. Gets it off to McBride. McBride out high. Dribbles, hands it off to Kenton who almost stole it away, but Cole able to get it back here. Cole on the drive, now gets it off to Cook. Cook with it, far side. Wheels around. And a timeout by Paoli here with 4.05 to go in this fourth quarter as a pretty good defense here. Full timeout once again. We'll take a quick break, hear a word from the sponsor, and be back here on your home. Paoli 32, West Washington 24. As your American Family Insurance agent, Michael Long can offer you dependable auto, home, business, and life insurance, as well as other insurance products. He's big enough to serve and small enough to care. His team and their unique backgrounds, trainings, and experiences have prepared them well to help meet your insurance needs. Additionally, as residents of your community, they understand how important it is to be there for you. Together, they are building strong partnerships that help everyone succeed. When it comes to your car insurance, you deserve more than a card tucked in your glove box. That's why American Family Car Insurance goes beyond a piece of paper or an app to give you smart, customized coverage and real peace of mind. No matter how your life changes, you can feel comfortable you will have the right auto insurance protection and support every step of the way. Not sure how much or what type of coverage is right for you? Michael Long is the person to talk to. All right, back here live West Washington High School, Paoli 32, West Washington 24. Rams with a timeout here, 4.05 to go in the fourth quarter here as Paoli leads by eight. They'll inbound, they'll get it into Dusty Cole, or excuse me, Fletcher, Fletcher Cole. Cole. I called his dad, the <laughs> yep. coach, Dusty. Cole with it, dribbles around, now cut off, now gets it back out to Rominger. Rominger out high, now gets it off to Windhorse. Windhorse, far side, it'll go to Cook. Back out to Rominger. He'll dribble around. Now drives the lane, kicks it in the oh. corner, and a turnover. Through his hands. They went right through Cump's hands, out of bounds. So it'll go back to West Washington. Good defense there. You know, I, I've been impressed by our defense. Yeah. You know, we if we knock down a few more shots, we're right in the middle of this thing. But uh, just got to get some to fall here in the fourth quarter. Kent Chase will bring it up after the turnover by Paoli. He'll bring it across the timeline. Now looks inside. Now goes on the attack. Finds a wide open Grayson McCoy. And McCoy scores his first bucket. 26-32 now. Back to the six-point lead. So we're hanging around here. Yeah, that's the thing. The yep. Senators are just hanging around. Cole with it. Out high. Kenton Chase on him. Now off the wind horse. Gets it in the corner to Kumpf. He'll pull it down. Goes in the lane. Throws it in there to Cook, goes up strong and got it to roll in. That's when we get in trouble. When we, when we chase, we get in trouble. Yep. 34-26, back to an eight-point lead. Jackson with it, far side. Cameron gets it off to McCoy, now to Hoffler. Lane off to Kenton. Kenton back to Jackson. Jackson looking inside, goes to Rosenbaum. He'll spin in the lane, banks it in. Nice bucket by Ian. Back, nice to, the, back to the basket kind yep. of bucket. Back to an eight-point lead, 34-28. Cole with it, with 2.30 to go. Brings it across the timeline, Kenton all over him. He'll drive the lane, goes in strong, and a rebound by Kumpf inside, now fouled by McCoy. You know, the one thing I see that we need to work on, we're not going to the basket for rebounds on the, uh, on the defensive end. You know, we stood there and let Kumpf grab that rebound. And then we foul, McCoy gets his first, but we've got to do a better job of getting on the boards on the defensive end. Timeout by Paoli here 
222 to go. They'll, they'll call 32nd one here as 34 28. Senators down six. We talked earlier about how we had the, the big senator lineup out there with Ian Rosenbaum, uh, Lane, and uh, Titan. Yeah. Well, then we went to the opposite just a second ago. We had yeah. um, Kenton, Jackson, Jackson <laughs> and Grayson, yeah. all three out there um, with Lane as the big and then Mason, you know, as, as the forward. And, you know, we don't have a whole lot of height there. We got beat on the rebound. Yeah. Three times. Well, and, you know, I think it's hurt us a little bit. Mason Cox kind of favoring that ankle. And, you know, with him in the game, it gives you another rebounder. Right. And he hasn't been out there much this second half. He He's struggling. We're having to go small with Grayson. Uh, even though Grayson gives you some beef in there, um, you know, it just uh, gives up a little bit of height. So, um, you know, we're, we're playing a pretty small lineup here. So Cole will inbound, gets it into Rominger. He'll spin baseline, gets cut off, now goes up strong. Can't get it, rebound to Hoffler, and he gets fouled from behind. So I think that's it for uh, McBride. I don't know if they're going to get McBride or they're going to get – Yep, they got McBride. They got He's out. So that's his fifth. Fifth foul, so he goes out with uh, just one three-point bucket. So three points for him in the game tonight as he fouls out with number five. Kumpf will check back in. Hoffler will go to the line. Shooting a one and one as that was the uh, ninth team foul on Paoli. We got to knock our free throws down here. If I'm picking somebody to shoot him, I want Lane doing it. Yeah, so. he's, he's uh, usually pretty good up there as he gets the first one to go. 34-29, down to a five-point game. He can pull it down to within four here with 2.17 to go if he can get this second one to go. It's up and it's good. So he gets them both. 34-30. Got to get some stops here on this uh, defensive end now. Cole will bring it up, Kent and Chase on him. Cole will drive. And drives the lane and a foul on Rosenbaum. Got to get in front of him. Yeah. You know, you got to shuffle over quicker. When he goes on the attack, you know he's going to the hole. Ian with his second foul, team seven, so they'll be in the bonus. Fletcher Cole will go to the free throw line. Two shots here for him as he'll step up there. First one's up, and it rims out. So he can't get the first one to go. He'll get another one. Second free throw coming now for Cole. It's up, and that one goes down. 35-30. Still a two-possession game here for the Senators. Kenton Chase to bring it up. He'll cross the timeline, hands it off to Cameron. Jackson with it, now to Lane. It gets tipped away from him. He'll pick it up in the backcourt. <laughs> Same call we had earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Brings it across, gets it to Kenton. Kenton with it. Dribbles around here, trying to isolate and get it to Lane. There he is. He'll pull it down, looks. Now kicks it out to Cameron, back to Kenton Chase. Kenton with it, dribbles. And we're going to have a foul on Cameron. Is that who they called him on? Oh, it's on Paola. Okay. So that's his fifth. Oh, so that's a break. Yeah. Uh, Coach Sullivan was griping because he, he thought. I don't exactly know what happened. Yeah, Jackson didn't do anything. I'm sure you got it maybe on the replay. But uh, Paoli just took off to the other end like it was on West Washington. That's five. And that'll put Lane at the free throw line. They called it inside. They were holding Lane yeah. as he was trying to rotate around. And uh, they get uh, they get them with the call. So that's going to put uh, Hoffler at the line here. And that'll put uh, Windhorst on the bench. That's his fifth foul. So he'll have to sit down. And they've had two of their starters foul out here.
So Jackson will go to the line, they're gonna say. So Cameron will step up there to shoot the free throws. Two free throws for Jackson. First one's up, and it's good. He knocks the I'm, first I'm one down. I'm still trying to figure out what happened. Well, There's I am foul too. Called, but I don't know what. But, well, I thought it was on Lane. I thought they were holding him, but apparently it was uh, Cameron. He's shooting the free throws. Second one's up. It goes long. Bounces around. And Cole with the rebound. So 35-31, a four-point game here with 1.29 to go. Cole just about went back and over. He'll bring it across now. Kenton there again to cut him off. And a foul going to be called. Nope, timeout. Paoli gets their uh, third timeout here in this quarter, 121 to go. So full timeout. We'll take a quick one. Come back here. It's Paoli 35, West Washington 31. Expertise, resources, commitment. At Sullivan Financial, we offer a team approach to financial planning, offering you a broader scope of expertise than you will likely find in any one person. Clients are our main priority, which is why we work to understand your unique circumstances and ultimately create a distinctive plan that provides a roadmap for your financial journey. Located in Mitchell, Indiana, they can be reached at 812-849-2670. That's 812-849-2670. Back to action here on Ron Smith Court. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right, Paoli to inbound with 121 to go. They'll get it in. It'll come in to Cook and stolen away by Rosenbaum. And he gets it off to Hoffler now to Kenton. 35-31. Paoli with a four-point lead, 111 to go. Kenton chased with it off to Cameron. Cameron looking, can't find anybody. Now off to Kenton. He'll go inside to Rosenbaum, tipped away from him. Ball on the floor. McCoy gets down for it. It'll be Senator Ball on the jump um, ball call here as they'll get the ball back. Titan will check back in the game. He'll come in for McCoy. And the Senators will inbound underneath their own bucket with exactly a minute to go in the contest. Down four, big bucket here if we can get one. Lane Hoffler to inbound. They'll probably try to inbound and then go right back to yeah, him. That's, that's what, what they, they usually like to, like to do. Oh, they throw it out. It'll come to Rosenbaum off to Cameron over to Kenton. Kenton with it, far side. Dribbles now gets it to Rosenbaum. Now back to Kenton, over to Cameron, back to Kenton. Kenton dribbles, kicks it out to Hoffler. Lane will pull it down, deep three ball. Can't get it to go. Comes with the rebound and Titan fouls him. About had to. Yeah, that's a, that's a good foul there by Titan. Do it quick as soon as they get it. Yeah, 43 seconds. That'll be free throws for Kumpf. Team's eighth foul, so Kumpf will go to the line. Shooting a one and one here. It's a big free throw. He's been up there once tonight, missed both of them in the third quarter. First one's up, and he hits it. <laughs> I give him a little mojo, I guess. 36-31, <laughs> he'll get another one here. First two he shot were long, but that one was nothing but net. Second one's up, and it uh, rims out. Battle for the board. Cameron pulls it down, gets it off to Kenton. Kenton up quickly with it. Center's looking to score. Rosenbaum shoots a three, no good. Rebound Hoffler. And Lane went up high for it and got pushed out of bounds by 34. That's his second uh, person. We still don't know who he is. They don't have a 34 on the roster. 34. Oh, that's Minton. Minton. Yep. Instead of 30 on our roster, yep. it's 34. 
So Hoffler will go back to the stripe. First one's up and it's good. He'll get another one. 36-32, a chance to cut this to a three-point game here if he can knock the second one down. One possession contest. It's up and it's good. So timeout. Nope. Substitution. Grayson McCoy will come in for Hoffler. And 32 seconds to go. They put the Grayson in there. Defensively, full court pressure. Rominger looks long. Now gets it in to Minton. Now up to Cole. And Kenton has to foul him. So Kenton picks up his first foul of the night. And that'll put Cole, not the guy you want to probably right. put up there. Exactly. That's Even though he's he's only one for three at the line tonight. So here comes Lane back in. As McCoy will go to the bench. 29 seconds. 36-33. One and one here for one and one Fletcher Cole. One and one for Cole, yep. As he'll step up there. First one's in the air. No good off the front of the rim. Tipped, though, by Kumpf. Out to Cole. He'll spin, goes in strong, got fouled again. That's about all you can do, though. Yeah. And Kumpf with a very alert play. To tip it back yep. out. Coach Sullivan not very happy with his uh, yeah, we're not getting down on, low. We haven't done a good job on the boards all night. No. And Lane just picked up his fourth. So, and that'll put Cole with two more. First one's good. 37. 33, so a four-point lead. And he'll get another one here. Second one's up, and it'll rim in as well. So 38 to 33. Jackson Cameron with a deep three. Air ball's off the backboard, no good. Cole with the rebound. They'll get it over to him, and Kenton will chuck him out of bounds. So Kenton picks up the foul and Cole will go back to the stripe. That's Kenton's uh, second. Yep, second foul on him. So 12.6 to go and a five point lead and a chance to build on it here. Cole hit the first one, 39-33. Six point lead, he'll have a chance to make it seven. And he misses it. Another tip, but they're gonna get Kump over the back. So it'll be free throws with no time off the clock. That'll work. And that'll put Lane at the line. His first foul on Kump. And that'll put Lane at the free throw line again as he'll get a couple free throws. Senators doing a good job of extending this game. Yes, they have. They've just got to knock down some of these free throws. Got to hit it. Yep. First one's in the air, and he rims it out. We jinxed him. Second one coming here. Second free throw up. He missed it on purpose, and the rebound by Cole. And a foul by Rosenbaum. So Rosenbaum picks up his third foul, and that'll put Cole back at the line. He's, he's made a living at the free throw line tonight. Yeah. Here in, well, mainly Here in all the in the fourth quarter. He's been up there. Uh, this will be attempts seven and eight. Hits the first one. 40-33, so game pretty much over at this point, yeah. 9.5 seconds. But uh, uh, Senators have played a good game, I think, uh, and he misses the second. And gets it off, Kenton Chase as Titan gets a rebound. Kenton will pull it down, shoot a rare three, almost banked it in, rebound Cole, and McCoy steals it away from him, but that's it. And that's going to be the ball game here tonight, our final score. 40 to 30, we'll take a little bit of a break here, add things up, and come back with our post-game report here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington live stream and WWSR. In 2015, we launched the Dolly Parton Imagination Library. This is phase two of the Happily Ever After project. 
with the assistance of several local donors and sponsors, along with five years of fundraising by the Washington County Youth Foundation, we finally had enough resources to launch the service. The Dolly Parton Imagination Library is a free service that mails age-appropriate books to all required Washington County children under the age of five. Although the faces of the leadership of the Washington County Community Foundation have changed over time, as is always the case with any healthy, thriving organization, the core values and mission remain the same. We continue to work diligently to assist our donors in creating a legacy that is meaningful to them. All of our success is directly related to the generosity of the sons and daughters of Washington County. We will continue to help our donors give back to our community through our foundation and improve the quality of life in our county. Some people see a huddle in the locker room. We see a second classroom. Some see a student athlete on the court. We see a future leader in the community. You see, high school sports in Indiana are special. That's because they're about learning and growing, not just winning and losing. Fans, I'm Commissioner Paul Knighty. Support education-based athletics in Indiana by buying a ticket to your high school's next athletic event. We chose West Washington because of the academic excellence to help prepare me to be a doctor. We chose West Washington because of the quality of our athletics and because of the championships we've won. We chose West Washington because once you step into these walls, you're family. Back here live on Ron Smith Court, where the Senators do fall tonight to the Paoli Rams. Comes out and the, the Senators play a, a pretty good first half of of ball couldn't ask for really much more from them the third quarter uh, Fletcher Cole gets gets hot starts uh, knocks down two threes and stretches that lead out a little bit then the fourth the Senators are trying to come back doing the best that they can um, you know Fallon trying to get you know make it up at the free throw line they do a great job at the end of the game extending the game seeing if they can knock down some free throws and um, have Paoli miss some uh, just doesn't really go the Senators way tonight um, overall, a, a good game by the Senators. You can't really fault them for anything they did. Yeah, it really was. I mean, defensively, I thought we played as well as we can play. And, you know, it, it, it's like I said earlier, uh, I think, in the second quarter, if we had some shots fall, you know, this, this game would have been a little bit closer, even though, you know, it was only a seven-point game. We got it down to four there. Actually had it down to three at one point there in the third quarter, but just couldn't get a shot, you know, a good shot. And, you know, I think the one thing, like I said, that I saw that I felt like the Senators need to work on is their rebounding, especially on the defensive end. You know, uh, Paoli got several second-hand, uh, second attempts uh, on uh, those possessions where they tipped the ball back out and got some shots in the air. But real quick, I'll run down the scoring for Paoli as they win it here 40 to 33. Windhorse had uh, two three-pointers for six points in the game. Uh, Cook had two two-point uh, two field goals for four. Their leading scorer in the leading scorer on the night was Dust uh, was um, Fletcher Cole. Cole had four two-point field goals, two three-pointers, five of ten from the free throw line, 19 points in the game for Cole. Cornette McBride with one three-pointer for three. Rominger had two uh, field goals, one of two at the free throw line, so he had five points. And then Kumpf rounded out the scoring with one field goal and one of four at the line for a total of three points to give them their 40. For the Senators in the game here tonight, they were led in scoring by Ian Rosenbaum. Ian with four two-point field goals. He was three of four from the free throw line for 11 total points, the only one in double figures for us. Uh, Lane Hoffler had one three-pointer, was five of eight from the free throw line, eight total points in the game. Titan Williams with two uh, field goals and two of four from the line for six. Mason Cox had one two-pointer, one of two from the line for three. Jackson Cameron had uh, one of two from the free throw line for one point. 
and uh, Kenton Chase had one field goal for two to give West Washington 33 total points. They lose it here 40 to 33. Fall to one and two on the year. Got tomorrow night up at Trinity Lutheran. We'll have that for you on WWSR. Won't have the live stream there on the road naturally, but Caden uh, and myself will be bringing you that one on WWSR. So you want to tune into that one. But all in all, against a good Paoli team, pretty good effort. Had a chance, you know, and just let it get away from us there at the end uh, as they put Cole to the line. He hit. Uh, Five of ten, so 50% from the free throw line there in that fourth quarter. So, uh, you know, pretty good effort. Yeah, you couldn't ask, like I said, you couldn't ask for anything more out of the Senators. Um, you know, came out and, and probably executed the game plan that Coach Sullivan put out for them. They, they yeah. did what they wanted. You know, they did what they were coached to do, did what they were supposed to do. So can't really fault anybody there. Just didn't knock down the shots that nope. they needed to tonight. And, you know, we got to get some more shots up. Yeah. You know, I think that's uh, – have been part of the problem. The offense is still trying to get there. You know, and part of that is with, uh, you know, you've got uh, Lane's not really in full basketball form yet, you know. So he, you know, they're, they're still trying to get him some looks. He only had one field goal in the game. Uh, and Kenton's got to be able to score more as well. I think we're going to have to get him something off the dribble uh, to the basket uh, for him to score. Ian, I thought, played really well offensively uh, as well as Titan. You know, we're getting a good contribution from those two guys. Uh, Jackson got some shots up, couldn't get a three to fall, but uh, he only shot it three times. So, you know, we, gotta, we just got to get more uh, offensive possessions, more shots up, and I think that'll come as the season progresses and they get into a little more basketball shape. So, Hopefully tomorrow night they can ride the ship, get back to even, uh, heading into next weekend here at uh, West Washington for that holiday tournament. So um, a great job tonight. Appreciate you jumping on as you're always here with us. Appreciate all that you do for the live stream and WWSR. And uh, just been a pleasure. want to thank all our sponsors once again for bringing us Senator Basketball here on your home for Senator Sports, West Washington uh, school radio and also west washington live stream so a final comment from you you know great job by the senators tonight testing some legs tomorrow night like you said back at yeah um trinity lutheran so tip there should be sometime around 7 30 so yeah i'd say tune in 7 15 7 30 ish uh, you know jv playing first and then uh, then we'll head into the varsity yeah. contest but uh, but uh, got to get right to ship a little bit hopefully uh you know, I haven't looked at Trinity or seen anything on them yet, but uh, I, you know, I think uh, you know it's a it's a winnable game for oh, West yeah. Washington. Yep. More of an even opponent. Not that Paoli wasn't. I thought we played really well against a really good basketball yeah. team. You know, you you I think if if you watch Paoli throughout the year, they're going to be a, a team that can make some noise in 2A here in the southern part of the state, no doubt. So. We'll look forward to that. We'll be on with you tomorrow night. That's all the time we have tonight. So for Craig Akers, the professor, this is Bub Abbott. We say God bless you, and we'll send it back over to the studio.